political funding is the nodal center of unaccounted and illicit money transfers. Why political funding is becoming nodal point for black money generation. Why political funding can turn out to be a disaster for democracies like India. How to regulate the political funding. GS Paper 2, Important Aspects of Governance, Transparency and Accountability. What is the context about? Political funding is the nodal center of unaccounted and illicit money transfers, and is the primary cause of corruption of the body politic. Following demonetization, party funding is often equated with political funding, as is demonstrated in much of the political rhetoric. But political funding need not be limited to party funding, and may encompass election expenditure of candidates at various tiers federal, state and local. All political corruption involves an unfair, and most often unlawful, use of public office to secure a private gain. Why political funding is becoming nodal point for black money generation. Political funding attracts huge amount of donations from across the sectors of economy including corporate sector. They do not have to pay income tax. Most of the donors do not disclose identity, while the transfers happen through Hawala transactions. The accounts of political parties are exempted from scrutiny. Recent budget caps minimum hours 2000 contributions through unaccounted means, however there is no cap on the number of voluntary donations. It is very difficult to identify the black money contributions, while numbers of regional parties are going up. In the last decade 69% of the income of political parties came from unknown sources, and this segment has been steadily on the rise during this period. Why political funding can turn out be a disaster for democracies like India. The big political funding in India, however, goes into election expenditures and its party candidates. The elected official works in a patron-client relationship with the party. This is anti-ethical to the public office because it should be serving the public. The return from political funding need not always be a substantial gain, such as land or coal blocks, it could be deferred advantage, defeat of an adversary, ideological support incentive to desist from a proposed action, postponement of a proposed action to a favorable point of time, a third party advantage, etc. Thus political funding can be a disaster for democracies like India. How to regulate the political funding? The key to regulate political funding therefore lies in bringing down election expenditure. The best public men and women should be provided an opportunity to participate in the institutional life of Indian democracy. Simultaneous elections to the Lok Sabha as well as the state assemblies should come in place. Election Commission should ensure the better and close monitoring of the election process. Citizens should keep a close watch over election campaigning. In the longer run, political patronage itself needs to be reined in. This calls for not merely a decentralization of power in more substantive ways, but also reordering the relation between the legislature and executive. 